It's fascinating and yet sad at the same time. In every culture, buildings get deserted. Whether it happened a thousand years ago or within the last few years, I bet there is an abandoned place near you right now. Without anyone to maintain them, structures are degraded by nature, time and people, leaving only a ghostly shell of what they used to be. By now you must know that we are attracted to abandoned places for various reasons. This time, however, we want to focus on the stages of decay. In this episode, we feature two former hotels, full of contrasts. While one of them is in pristine condition, with clean rooms, the other one is infested with mold and completely ramshackle. These buildings are different in so many ways, but they share the same fate. They were left to decay. Let's be the last guests of these hotels and explore what is deserted. If you like the beauty of decay or the eerie atmosphere of abandoned structures, you should have a look at our 2021 Urbex calendar. You will learn more about it at the end of today's episode. It's the summer before the coronavirus pandemic. The last summer that felt normal. And we are on the road trip to a green mountainous area in the heart of Germany. Of course, we are here to discover and explore abandoned places again. But before we enter those stuffy and moldy old houses, we want to enjoy the lovely surroundings for at least one night. Auf jeden Fall laufen wir jetzt da hoch. Die Münze hat es entschieden, wir hätten auch ganz gemütlich da unten pennen können. Aber Leute, es ist ein kindisches Abenteuer, das musste Oma sagen. This region is called the Harz Mountains. Avid viewers of this channel know that we've explored this part of the country several times already. The Harz used to be a big magnet for German tourists. And it certainly still is today. But many hotels and leisure facilities have been abandoned. And since the area is rural and rather remote, these places remain untouched and true time capsules. Tomorrow we'll explore two forgotten hotels. Okay, let's get to it. In this episode, we'll be cross-cutting between the two explorations with the idea to show you similarities and extreme contrasts. Um, yeah, that's the wrong house. People are still living here. But across the road, there is this place. The building's overgrown and in bad shape. So that's the one we're looking for. But better watch your step now, because it feels like this place could collapse at any time.
This hotel has obviously been neglected for decades already. No signs of squatters, no vandalism, and apparently everything is still here. That's because this site is off the beaten track and nobody will find this place by accident. Even though the entrance door stands wide open, you don't want to stay inside for too long. The air is stifling and mold is everywhere. You should only step inside with the proper respiratory protection. We will tell you the story of this location and show you more of it in just a couple of minutes. But for now, we switch to a nearby spa town. Only a few kilometers away from the crumbling house, we discovered this vacant hotel in good condition. Its wood grain decor is tacky. All let's say it's just uncommon here. And that's not only on the outside. The looks get completed by actual trees on the inside. It looks like nature immediately took over when man left. But of course, these are just fake plants. This place is quite clean and there is hardly any dust. It's easy to imagine that the staff is just on a brief holiday. What a contrast to the other place. But in fact, this site has been abandoned for years as well. Check out the reception desk and you'll see that people already looted and ransacked the house. You probably can't prevent this from happening when a building is located in such a busy town. Despite the mess at the front desk, the rest of the hotel appears untouched, with the bed still made and everything left in place. Back when it was operational, this was a two-star hotel with more than 20 beds and a restaurant with typical German cuisine, like Wurst, Sauerkraut or Schweinebraten. If you're not familiar with these dishes, don't worry, you didn't miss a thing here. Located in an old health resort, the story of this place goes way back. It's even connected to the darkest part of German history, when SS soldiers were occupying the whole town for their crazy Nazi program to breed a so-called master race. I'm going to tell you more in a bit. Back to the stuffy one. And this inn seems to be frozen in time, with the last guests and the personnel simply vanishing decades ago.
This massive shelf from the first floor has fallen over and broke through the ceiling to create this odd scenery. I think you have an idea now how ramshackle the whole structure must be after all this time of deterioration. When it comes to decay, this place is close to its terminal stage. I think the next stage would be a complete collapse. We've shown you this wheelchair already. It's here because this used to be a hotel for senior visitors only. Surrounded by pure nature, guests had the chance to go for a hike or a day trip, enjoying cultural events as well. Nursing personnel were taking care of the elders round the clock. In contrast to its lovely surroundings, this place seems especially grim today. After a glut of new hotels in the area, there was more supply than demand. Apparently, focusing only on older people wasn't a business model with a promising future. We couldn't find out when it had been abandoned, but the lodge was probably forced to close down several decades ago. By now, there's no way that the ravages of time can be overcome. Sooner or later, the hotel will disappear, either by collapse or by demolition. Big windows in the Evergreen Hotel and the busy road in front of it make us jump into hiding spots from time to time in order to not get spotted from the outside. It's interesting to watch the people as they gaze at the abandoned hotel. We saw many tourists wondering why this place is not operating anymore. Such a prominent building simply left to deteriorate. Or maybe they are just seeing one of us walking in the empty building. Could be very possible, actually. However, this is indeed a historical place. It's older than many other hotels in the spa town. We found photos showing the hotel 100 years ago. Later, during World War II, this was one of the few hotels here that stayed operational, while all the other ones were taken over by the Nazi Schutzstaffel. To protect pregnant women, they were taken from big cities that were constantly under attack by Allied bombers and moved to this rural area. Thousands of children were born in these notorious facilities, with the aim of creating this so-called master race. This, by the way, is a model of a popular place here in town. We have no clue why it's hidden in the attic. Maybe that is where the owner and all the staff are today, together with the guests. This hotel was refurbished several times. And during its last renovation, the owner decided to go with the wood paneling you can see everywhere and the fake trees in the restaurant. The original building looked quite different. However, the refurbishment is also the reason why you can hardly find any decay here. The other hotel that is crumbling terribly still has its original structure that is totally drenched and moldy. Even though it's older, this hotel, with its wooden look and modern renovations, will last. It went bankrupt only a short time ago, but the hotel could open again, without having to be completely rebuilt. For photos of our explorations, we have two different accounts on social media you can follow. Our main one, Broken Window Theory, or the one from Toby with shots from all around Europe. You can find the links in the video description. It doesn't matter where you go in the Harz Mountains. Look around and you'll see that these two abandoned hotels are not exceptions. There are quite a number of these structures many of them in different stages of their deterioration. These places might have lost their appeal to tourists, but they were certainly arousing our interest. From the tip-top condition, where you could actually still spend a night, to the filthy and rotten, where you should not stay long, even if you protect your lungs. 
And yet, there is an odd beauty in this decay. It's worth exploring and capturing. You never know what you'll find, and that is the appeal to us. Probably every day more buildings become abandoned somewhere in the world. And yes, even somewhere near you as well. It's not limited to specific countries, cultures or religions. And if nobody takes care of these buildings, all of them will undergo the various stages of decay. From the pristine to the rotten. Until they are eventually gone. That's why we bring our cameras to these explorations. To document these sites before they've vanished. And that's also what we'll do again next time. We found this massive abandoned power plant located somewhere in Germany where demolition is long overdue. It's in a mild stage of decay, but still protected by security, so thieves don't steal the old equipment. This is one of these explorations again why we have to be quite sneaky in order to not get caught. But it's well worth it, because this is something you don't see in your everyday life. And we will bring it to your screens in only two weeks. Stay tuned. Our new calendars for 2021 have just arrived. This limited edition calendar features plenty of high quality images printed on photographic paper and also includes stories about our explorations. The crew started shipping them a week ago and the first calendars have already arrived. To each order they were also adding free stickers. Right now we're in the middle of our Black Friday sale where you get a second calendar for 50% off. Visit our online shop if you want a copy for yourself or want to give away as a Christmas present. You can find more info in the video description and the info card. This offer lasts until Cyber Monday. And listen up, you can also win a unique analog photo we shot during our travels. If you order the calendar, you might just find it packed inside a plastic bag in your parcel. That is because in the past, some deliveries got wet during transport for some reason. Now we wrap it up so there won't be any water damage to your calendars. Of course, we're aware that plastic bags are bad for the environment. So, here's a challenge for you. Instead of throwing it away, just try to make good use of it. Send us a photo or video of how you use it. For example, if you go for a walk, get out there and collect trash you find in nature or elsewhere. Or maybe you can come up with another creative idea of how to use this bag. Either way, post a video or photo on social media and tag us or just send us an email. We even have a cool prize being raffled up among all of the participants. You can win one of three analog photos with the negatives attached, so you have the proof that these photos are one of a kind. We are looking forward to your submissions. You have time until the end of January. Two completely different hotels that weren't actually not that different, right? Which one is your favorite and why? We have still quite the backlog to edit from our hearts explorations. Let us know if you want to see more of them on YouTube. Cheers guys and keep exploring.